Hey what's up guys and welcome in this new tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to master a text track in FL Studio. So we already did a similar tutorial for Ableton, I will leave the link to it in the description below and today we're gonna do a mastering tutorial for FL Studio as well. So before starting I would like to remind you that the demo that we are gonna use for this project is from our pack Rapture Volume 3 which is a collection of minimal deep tech one shot loops and serum presets that you can check out from the link in the description below. So let's start by listening to the demo song. That's it. So first thing that we're gonna do is gonna be checking the headroom that we have. So around minus 9 to minus 10 which is uh, a bit too low so we're gonna just load a fruity balance and increase the volume. Yeah around minus 6 dB is perfect so let's start with the first parametric EQ so we're gonna select the preset 30 Hz 18k Hz. So as you can see here we are just cutting the very low and very top frequencies. Another thing that we're gonna do is gonna be loading another parametric EQ to do some more surgical changes. So first of all let's loop this part. So basically just uh, removing some uh, bad frequencies. So we're gonna do it uh, also on the low end. The area between 180 and 200 Hz is usually a really messy area for this kind of tracks so you want to make sure that you are reducing it by a couple of dB. So now that we have the equalizers we can add a bit of compression and we're gonna use the fruity limiter but actually we're gonna select the compression mode. So here you have all of your settings so threshold, knee, ratio, attack, release and sustain which is basically everything you're gonna need in a compressor. So usually I do around minus 2 to minus 3 dB of compression with a mid to fast attack and a medium release. So so let's see how it sounds here. So obviously we have to set the ratio first. So as you can see we are using a ratio at around 2 and we are just basically compressing some peaks from the drums and the kick. Yes, like this. And now we can put another fruity limiter. This time it's gonna work as a limiter. So make sure that the ceiling is at zero and then you can start playing with the gain. So to know how loud you can go, we're gonna use a free plugin, which is called the span. And we're gonna check the RMS level. So 
So in this truck in particular, as you can see, we have a, a bit of a problem with the low end, which is a bit too much present in the mix. So we are just gonna add another parametric EQ before the limiter. So we're gonna move down the limiter and the compressor and we're just gonna add parametric EQ here. Just a really simple low shelf re reducing around 0.5 dB. So in this case, actually, it would be a bit more appropriate to use uh, some multiband compression or dynamic EQ. However, I don't really like uh, the multiband compressor here in FL Studio, so I'm going with the parametric EQ. As for the loudness, as you can see, we are at around the minus 9 RMS. However, the important thing here is for the spectrum to not exceed these minus 30 dB marks, either with the low end or the top end, otherwise the track will sound a bit too unbalanced and a bit too loud. So another thing that you can do here is adding a bit of saturation. The best way to do this in FL Studio is by using the Sound Goodizer, which is uh, basically a one knob plugin with a lot of effects like compression and saturation that are working in the background. So you don't have to overuse it, just a tiny amount is good. Something like this, uh, obviously you have to make sure that uh, the volume is at the right level, so we're gonna reduce the gain on the limiter. And as you've seen, we have a lot more presence in the top area after the sound goodizer. And yeah, basically this is a really simple mastering chain for your tech house tracks in FL Studio. Don't forget to check out Rapture Volume 3 from the link in the description below. Also, let us know what tutorials would you like to see next and I'll see you soon. Bye.